Hello guys, this is Pavelos Korob and Laravel Daily Video Channel. Today I will be talking about a tool I use myself and I can recommend for Laravel and not only Laravel, it's called Bugsnag. It's for catching bugs, knowing all the information about the bugs and all the various uh, stuff I will briefly talk about. So three reasons to use tools like Bugsnag. It doesn't have to be that particular one like Bugsnag, there are competitors, but I personally use Bugsnag and I love it. That's why I recommend it. It's, so I'm not, uh, disclaimer, I'm not officially related to Bugsnag. Uh, I'm not an affiliate. I don't get any money for this video, but I do recommend it like sincerely from, from my heart. So reason number one, it notifies about the error. So for example, we use uh, integration with Slack. So this is uh, how the usual Slack message looks. It shows the error, it shows the location of the controller, the URL, and it gives all the links. You can click details and go into uh, more details about that error. I will show you that in a second. Then there are a few buttons for like mark fixed, uh, snooze or ignore. So I mean in general whatever happens in your application in your website for, for a user you won't get notified unless you uh, unless you install some kind of notifications like that. It can be Slack, it can be email, whatever you prefer. We use Slack uh, internally for our team. So this is how it looks. So reason number one is it's notifying about the error. And that's another example of notification. The funny thing, so for example, if something goes wrong in your website and the error comes up again and again and again, uh, it probably will be, it, it, it will look spammy. So error comes up on Slack again, again and again. So what Bugsnag does to prevent that, it sends every 10th error. So in this case, 10th uh, error uh, that something is wrong with Google callback, with Google login. So it didn't notify about the error number two, number three, number four, but when it happened like 10th times, 10th uh, time, uh, it notified and, and basically shouted like 10th time, come on, do, do, do something about it. So notification is the reason number one. Reason number two is what information you get about the error. So if you go, if you click that details I've shown before, uh, you get all the requests uh, from the user. So what what is the like input parameters? If it's like post or patch method or delete, uh, every information about the user from the session. So in case of Laravel, it's user, basically user object with all the related tables. You can see that as an example on the right hand side. So you don't, you don't even have to replicate the error because, well, you do have to replicate, but I mean, uh, it does help to, to stop guessing what actually happens. Uh, you just, uh, you know what the data was uh, given to that page or to that, uh, endpoint and you can replicate it locally and fix much easier. So the problem I've, I've had before that, before using Bugsnag, it took enormously long amount of time to replicate the error, to guess the error, to email the user or call the user and ask what did you enter, or what was the reason and stuff like that. So this thing saves time uh, for not guessing and you immediately see what happened for that user. So that's reason number two, how much information you get about the error, including IP address, including device, including like cookies, a lot of things. It, I've shown just two of them. So reason number two, information about the error, which saves time. And reason number three, Bugsnag has a lot of integrations with a lot of uh, tools like for project management, for uh, like Bitbucket, for example. But it's, it's a huge list and it's not full list. There are like one third more. So we use Slack and Trello. So for Trello, it works like this. Whenever something happens on Bugsnag, it immediately creates the Trello card. And then you can configure it in various ways. So for example, if you mark uh, uh, mark card uh, on Trello, like drag, uh, drag Trello card to another column, uh, then mark that as fixed in Bugsnag. So Bugsnag itself, uh, it works as a kind of project management system. So you can mark the bugs as fixed, uh, like uh, ignore them, or group them, some some stuff like that. But uh, don't I don't think it's good for project management. So you have to use something externally, and and this is the list what you can integrate with. And uh, yeah, it's like Bugsnag is your central hub for bugs. But where you send those bugs and how you handle them, it's totally up to you. And they have a lot of notifications, a lot of integrations for that. 
and uh, pricing again I'm not advertising I don't get money for that but uh, just for the for the sake of information uh, it costs it uh, it can be free if you have only one user like yourself if you're a freelancer for example and you log only 20 uh, to 250 sorry uh, 250 events per day then it's free but within our team for example uh, it's not enough to have one user so we, we are a team of five so I pay personally I pay $29 which is more than enough uh, and 5,000 events per day is also more than enough we don't have that many <laughs> bugs uh, all over the projects so $29 is it might sound like a lot like $29 a month uh, but it saves so much time and so much nerves and uh, like just not guessing information about the bugs only that alone so for example if some bug happens and uh, me or another colleague developer uh, has to spend an hour or two just replicating the task uh, the error and the bug snag gives the information immediately so that immediately saves an hour or two and that pays off that $29 per month so it's not even it's not even a question it's just a question of which tool to use you can google competitors there are a few of them uh, and bug snag also is active in Laravel community by the way they support Laracon from what I remember they were the sponsor of Laracon uh, I'm not sure if it's online or offline, Laracon. Well, anyway, they, they are quite a big participant in the community. So I recommend them personally. And also, you can support me, <laughs> my team, and this video by visiting our sponsor, uh, quickadminpanel.com, which is our internal tool for generating admin panel with Laravel. That's it for this time. See you in the next videos of Laravel Daily Video Channel.